Hello. Welcome to No Gate Comics. Yes, we chose that name specifically um, just to remind people that there should be no gatekeeping in fandoms. Most of the people in a fandom are, you know, wonderful, lovely people, and they just enjoy getting together with other fans and discussing favorite things about the fandoms. But there is that small group of people in some fandoms who somehow feel entitled to the fandom as if it only belongs to them and they don't want to let anybody else in you know like it's an exclusive club and if you haven't seen every episode and watched every movie and read every comic book and know every novel and can name every obscure character in the entire series you know if you can't do that then you're not a real fan you know that's, that's the way some people feel and that's often called gatekeeping so we named our, our comic shop no gate comics just to remind people that you don't have to know everything about a fandom to be a huge fan um, you know, for for example, with Star Wars, there are some people who only like the original three movies, and they don't like the prequels, they don't like the sequels, they don't care about the animated series or the spin-offs or, you know, the comics or the novels. They just like the original three movies, and that's fine. They can still be huge super fans of that movie series, you know? They can still call themselves Star Wars fans. They don't need the permission of a gatekeeper to give them the okay to be a fan. Um, some people don't like reading comic books um, about the Marvel characters. They only prefer the movies. That does not mean that they are any less real fans than people who read the comics. So we just kind of wanted to, to put that in the title of our shop to remind people that there is no gatekeeping here. We're all fans. We all love our fandoms. Everyone is welcome. So that's that's what we want people to feel. We want people to feel welcome in our shop. We don't want them to come into the comic book shop and worry that they're going to be unwelcome because this is their first time reading a comic book of a series or something. So we hope that uh, you find our, our comic book shop a very welcoming place. And as you can see, we have a wide selection of comics. Um, do you know exactly what you're looking for? Oh, this is your first time in a comic shop. Okay, well, then we'll be very delighted to introduce you to the world of comics. Um, have you um, any particular fandoms that you like? Um, are you interested in in the classics, like the, the Marvel and the DC, you know, the, the kind of comics that most people think of when they think comics? Or are you more interested in some of the other comics, you know, like the TV series and the movie series and those kind of comics, or just some of the, the standalone comics that aren't uh, the more famous Marvel and DC types? Um, do, you, do you have a preference? Some of the other ones? Okay, well, we have um, a wide selection. We have Buffy comics, we have Firefly comics, we have Western comics. We, oh, Westerns? You've never heard of those? They're not as widely known, um, but there are quite a few Western comics, and many of them are very good. Um, some of them are standalone comics that are their own series, and some of them are continuations of old Western TV shows. Um, let's see, a good example is The Rifleman. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, the old TV show The Rifleman. Um, it starred Chuck Connors. It was an old black and white western. And um, it was about a man with a rifle, hence the name, and his son. And, you know, there were different things that happened in the, in the episodes, but usually he ended up shooting someone with his rifle, hence the name of The Rifleman. And uh, there was a run of comics based on The Rifleman. Um, for a while, so we actually we, we do carry a few of those. We also have Star Wars comics, we have a few graphic novels, we have Star Trek comics. You're interested in Star Trek comics? Well, that's an excellent choice. I'm a, a bit of a Trekkie myself, obviously. Um, do you have a preference for um, comics, graphic novels, 
compilation issues. Um, if I looked, I might even be able to find a, a regular novel in the back. Just regular comics, okay. Um, do you have a particular series you would like? Are you interested in TOS, the original series? Um, TNG, The Next Generation, Voyager, Deep Space Nine. We do not have any Enterprise comics, unfortunately. Um, for some reason, they've never given Enterprise a run of comics, and they really should. Um, again, that was one of the series that was canceled before its time, so the ending was kind of rushed. If you've ever seen the, the last season, it was pretty obvious that they just kind of cram stuff in to, to wrap it up, and that was not originally the direction they were going to go. Um, so it was kind of sad that it had to end that way, and a run of comics before that would have been would have been a very welcome treat to the, the Star Trek Enterprise fans. Um, that's one of my favorite series as well. Uh, after TOS, TOS is my favorite, but then Enterprise would be my second favorite, so a run of Enterprise comics would be a, a very welcome thing among the fans, but sadly we do not have that yet, so... Fingers crossed for some point in the future, but um, at this point I cannot offer you any Enterprise comics, but if one of the other series interests you, then I think we can help you out. TOS, excellent choice. Do you have any uh, favorite characters or episodes? Okay, I think we can find some surrounding that. Are you interested in original comics? Like, are you a collector and you'd be interested in some of the the higher priced original comics, they can sometimes run a couple hundred dollars or thereabouts. Um, are you interested in, in more of the, um, you know, the modern day, uh, moderately priced comics? The reason we price comics, okay? Uh, we have new comics, and we also have used comics, or as we like to call them, gently loved comics because they're in very good condition. Um, they're not quite new, you know, they're not in a package, and there might be maybe a, a crease in a page or something, but, you know, we don't sell anything where the covers are falling off or there's pages missing. All of our used comics are high quality comics, so we use the term gently loved comics, but we do, of course, offer discounts on our gently loved comics because they have been used, so... Um, if you're interested in those, I'll, uh, I'll grab a few that I think you might be interested in, and then, of course, we invite you to browse our, our tables here and see if you find anything else that interests you. Um, shall I grab a few and show them to you? Okay. Let me see. I think... Uh, if, you're, if you're a fan of the original series, the Year 4 comics are going to be some, some very good ones. Uh, these pick up right where the series left off when it was originally cancelled, so these take place before the movies. And these Year 4 comics really capture uh, the original series. When you're reading these comics, um, the way they talk, the way they're written, they're just very well done. Um, they feel very much like you're watching an episode of the original series of Star Trek, and you can you can almost hear the characters saying the lines, and they're just very immersive. And um, let's see some of the uh, the artwork. It's very easy to recognize the characters in the artwork, and um, you know they're just very high quality comics. This is one of my favorites of all the Star Trek comics was the run of the year four comics. And these were released in 2007, I believe. So um, it was quite a while after the original series, but they really did a wonderful job of capturing the essence of the original series. Um, this was not a long comic series. It was a mini series. I believe there were only six issues in this miniseries, but um, if you're a Star Trek original series fan and you're interested in some Star Trek comics, Year 4 is definitely a great place to start.
Um, another series we have, you said uh, Mirror Universe is one of your favorite episodes. It's one of mine as well. So in that case, you might be interested in the Mirror Images series of the Star Trek comics. Um, these deal with that specific Mirror Universe. Um, there's a lot of the you know, the fun things from, from that universe with the, the evil Kirk and the kind of still middle ground Spock um, translate into the into the Mirror Images comics. I'll open one up so you can see the images. Um, as you can see, it's easy to tell who everyone is here, you know, there's all the characters here and um, Obviously, being in the mirror universe, it's not quite like year four, where you're seeing all your um, favorite characters and actually hearing them. These are, of course, their their evil counterparts. So um, it's fun, but it's it's a good little series, um, the mirror images series. And so, if you're a fan of the mirror mirror episode, it's probably a series that you'll want to check out because it does deal with all the characters from that universe, which is kind of fun to, to get the evil counterparts once in a while, you know, so that's always a good one to consider. Uh, something else that we carry um, are the alien spotlights. So, for example, we have, um, we have the Romulans and we have the Vulcans, and these don't um, necessarily reflect any specific episodes. These are more of um, uh, standalone comics about the, the specific types of aliens, but um, if you're a fan, for example, if you're a fan of Vulcans, um, this is a good one because it gives you a whole story about the Vulcans, you know, not necessarily on the Enterprise, but about their own, their own world, their own culture, and their own struggles and all that, so that's always a fun one to do that. Alien spotlights, and, and of course the Romulans. Romulans are always fun because they're like Vulcan's evil cousins, you know, and or not even evil, I guess, just slightly more abrasive cousins. They're kind of a cross between Klingons and Vulcans. Is the the way I like to think of Romulans. So this uh, this episode, uh, this issue in particular, was was extremely fascinating. It was. Uh, much like watching an actual episode of Star Trek, you forget that you're reading a comic book. You're so immersed in the story within the comic book that it is. It's almost just like watching an episode of Star Trek. So um, if you're a fan of anything in particular, you may want to check out our specific alien spotlight issues. So we have quite a few of them in our in our stack. So. Um, hopefully that's uh, given you a few suggestions to get you started. I do recommend starting from the left side and then working your way down because that will take you from the original series right on down in order from, you know, the next generation, the Voyager, the Deep Space, you know, right, right down in order there from the, the series. So if you start on the left side, you'll be right in the original series section and when you found something that interests you, just bring it up to the counter and we'll get you checked out, okay? Happy comic book hunting!